like a giant turd in here. This vlog is gonna be a cluster. It is about 1.30 and we're gonna start this vlog in the middle of the day. Um, this vlog is gonna be a cluster. We got back from Nashville about a week ago, exact, just about exactly. And it has been full purge mode here because I was just getting rid of so much stuff in Nashville and getting my house so organized that it feels like I need to do the same at this house. There's just been too many things sitting around that I just don't use and haven't used for years. And I'm like, it has to go. So I'm slowly working my way through different areas. I have serious ADD when it comes to like working on something because I'll see something else and then I grab it and I have to catch myself and I'm like, bitch, put it down. You were working on the rug, go finish the task at hand. So I have to constantly do that. And I'm kind of struggling with that right now because I walked in my office and I'm seeing this entire suitcase full of designer shoes. And earlier I started, I just brought these all back from Nashville. They've just been sitting rotting in a closet there for years. And since I've had two kids, my feet have grown two sizes. I am now almost an 11 in Vans, guys. I was an eight and a half before. Um, and that's actually three sizes. So maybe I'm a 10 and a half. I um, was doing that and I did call the real real because they're, or no, sorry, fashion file because there's one in San Diego. They told me the shoes pretty much have to be never worn before. And I'm like, all of my shoes have been worn at least once. So that's not going to work for me. So anyways, I'm posting those on, I think it's called Vestiaire. I just fixed some irrigation out in the yard. My husband is at work for three days. He just got forced to work tomorrow. He was supposed to be off tomorrow and then working on 4th of July. I have to be my own husband on these days and I definitely have a lot of mental breakdowns during the process, especially when I'm about to start my period like I am right now. Let's go turn on the water. I think the water turn on, Nick said, is by the propane tank. So hopefully I can find it. And then we're going to, um, try that and see if I can get this to turn on. So I have a blueberry plant out there and two raspberry plants, and it is supposed to be record heat wave on July 5th. So I'm trying to get all of my plants nice and watered. I love your guys' comments. We were like, you guys, you could just be doing a vlog, just sitting on your ass at home and I would watch it. It's 40, if it, even if it was 40 minutes, I want it to be 40 minutes. I really appreciate those comments because, all right, here's the propane. Oh, I've spotted, I've spotted, I've spotted it. Oh, they're fucking labeled. Look at that. I was about to get my label maker, and then I got distracted doing something else. Front driveway, Citrus Grove North, driveway north. I don't know what direction is any way except up and down. So we're just gonna... Okay. Excuse the noise, I have a giant fan going because it's so hot in here today and there's no kids here right now so their little fingers can't get stuck in it so I can have it on. <laughs> a little project that's been on my to-do list for months. I should have taken the size of my closet into consideration when building it because there are zero rugs that fit in there well. However, I did just get two from Ross. Neither of them are gonna work. I did put one in my animal room. Looks pretty cute in there. That whole room needs like different day. Um, I did find an ultra soft rug that kind of looks like a shag rug, fuzzy, anti-skid, which is good for the closet. It's only, that is like the most annoying dryer noise in the world. I cannot wait to redo that room. Uh, it's only $35.99 and I think I need this color. It says it's cream white, which I think will go really well because I tried a gray one and it does not look good. I need to go through and just like purge my closet. I might, I'm planning on doing that this week. Today is, I'd like today to be the day for that, but there's just other pressing things that I need to do. I'm heading out to the garden right now. B 
because, ooh, I got two Amazon packages. I wonder what those could be. I'm gonna head out to the garden real quick and go back over to the raspberries, do a little bit of watering. I have to leave in about 20 minutes to go first pick up Wyatt, and then I have to go pick up Harlow, and then I'm pretty much stuck inside for the rest of the night. <laughs> I really don't know how this tomato plant lasted through the winter and to produce again this year, but it has, looks like it's about to be totally dead, but I have a bunch of cherry tomatoes on it and they are so good. Did grow this bad boy. Oh, this box is heavy. Oh, it's for my chickens. I don't know if they're gonna figure out how to use this anytime soon, but I thought it would be cool to put in there for them. <sighs> yes, I've got some Tanner. I did not realize this was the tiny little bottle. I think I paid $40 for this. Loving Tan has been the only tan recently that's gotten me as dark as I want it to. They sent me a package, which was super nice of them, but they sent it to Nashville and they didn't send it until I was about to leave. So I didn't get it in time. I got some acid mixed fertilizer for some of my plants that more like more like acidic oil, like blueberries, lemon trees, etc. So um, don't really know how to use fertilizer, but uh, we're gonna figure it out. Oh, oh, that was the last one. Definitely gonna need one of these. These two are playing, about to get ready for the 4th of July. Oh, you took your shoes off. Look at her cute little hand-me-down vans, or uh, Converse. Um, little thing, okay, so I don't know if you guys ever watched, excuse this like giant picture of this guy, like I can literally see every single pore on his nose. But this is Rafi, I don't know if you guys know who he is, but I listened to him as a little kid. I had a kiss, ah, 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 ah. hey, uh, what are you doing? That's not okay, we don't hit our brother. Don't you wanna be nice to your brother and be sweet? Honey, you don't hit your brother, okay? That's not okay. I'm not gonna tolerate that. I can't let you hit your brother. Brother hurts. I don't want your, you to hurt your brother, okay? Can you please say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, brother. Thank you. Um, so I um, used to watch or listen to Rafi. You're really testing my boundaries right now, aren't you? Or you're testing your own boundaries right now, huh? Hey. Do you want to lose privileges of that toy? I'm gonna to have to take it away from you and you're gonna have a timeout if you if you swing it and try and hit people with it, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you so much for listening. Uh -huh. Put the cars away. You're gonna put the cars away? Yeah. Okay, good yeah. job, let me see. Right there. Good job, high five. Yeah, whoa, two, two for one. Uh, if you want, not annoying kid music to put on in the background or in the car. He was losing it on the way to go pick up Harlo and uh, put this on. He was good. I had a Rafi cassette tape when I was little and I absolutely loved it. Um, so yeah, highly recommend. This is on Spotify. 8.01 p.m. Nick brought this home the other day. It is a liqueur. It tastes like tamarindo, jalapeno, and lime juice. It is delicious. It's been one of those days. Actually, I shouldn't say days, evenings. The day was great, because I was by myself. <laughs> um, so I got a lot done, but Harlow uh, is too and she has been testing me tonight. She generally listens better when her father is around. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this, but um, definitely acting out a lot. And then Wyatt's two top teeth are coming in right now and nothing I was doing was working. Just Harlow has been pushing my buttons today, like pouring sand in her diaper, like after I've asked her not to, after we took a bath, trying to take her diaper off trying to go up the stairs, like just all this stuff. Like I had to give her a timeout and talk to her about why she was on timeout. So 
I'm, I wasn't planning on having any tequila tonight, but uh, cheers. I saw this really stupid post on Instagram and it was like, it was like, I don't drink so that I can wake up and be fresh for my kids. And I was like, my kids are the reason I drink, okay? Motherhood is hard and a lot of people on YouTube on here won't tell you like it is. And I actually lost my shit on my kids the other day and I feel terrible about it. It was a learning experience for me, but I feel like we should have a little raw moment where we maybe share a time that we lost it on our kids down below. Um, I'm about to start my period. We were going to church on Sunday. I got both the kids ready. My parents live close by now and they were super nice. They're like, hey, we can come over and help you. I was like, you know what, I got this. Like, I'm not gonna call you guys all the time. Like, I got this, I can do this. Like all positive, all positivity, like positive attitude. And I got everything together. We're walking out the door. I get to the truck. I'm about to pop them in. We're on time. Like we're doing good. Like I look cute. I put some makeup on, and um, I I'm, have my arms full of stuff. Harlow's standing there waiting to be put in. I always put Wyatt in first, and I go to put him in in his car seat. That took me like watching an hour's worth of YouTube videos to figure out how to install and put in. That was in, in there so secure, so snug, so perfect is just like hanging there pretty much. Like you can move the whole thing, but it's still attached to all the anchor points, just loosened. And I'm like, so I try to figure it out with one hand because I can't put Wyatt down. He puts all the rocks in his mouth, like he crawls away, like I can't do that. And I can't put him inside by himself either. So I have pretty much no options. It's not like I have those little bouncers around anymore, like he's outgrown them. So, and I can't leave them both inside together because I can't leave him. Like if he puts something in his mouth and chokes on it, I'm not there, like not good. So I immediately am just like livid because I love Nick, but he has left me like high and dry with the car seat situation like multiple times on accident, on accident, like not on purpose. But apparently he took the car seat out the other day to put it in another truck and couldn't figure it out, couldn't get it out and didn't like tell me that it was like all messed up. So he went to work and so I just like lost it. Harlow kept not listening to me and kept getting in my way when I was like trying to move things. And I literally yelled at her so loud and I was like, please move Harlow. And I just like felt so terrible after the whole thing. And I went inside and I was like, your dad messed up the car seat, which I shouldn't be doing. I should not be like your dad, this, your dad, that, like, that's not good at all. Like that's the first time I've ever done that. And I was like, felt terrible about it after. And then I also said shit while we were walking to the front door, which I do my absolute best not to say mean things in front of Harlow to other people or animals if I'm frustrated like whatever like you know what I mean just like how you say like move to animals or whatever like I try not to do that I try to make it as pretty and polished and sweet as possible even when I'm just talking to animals and stuff <laughs> or if I stub my toe like I tried so hard not to and so and I, th I just like did not care anymore at this point I was so frustrated and so then I get inside and the kids are both have heard me yell and scream and cuss now and they're both screaming and crying because I'm like hysterical and like losing it and then that makes me lose it even more and I go down the hallway and I'm like I need a second for myself but instead of like taking a breath I just scream at the top of my lungs like a psychopath and go in the bedroom and slam the door that's what I did and I took my, I, I got my shit together for about 60 seconds. I came out with a smile on my face and I apologized to both of them for losing it. Wyatt doesn't know what I'm doing or saying, but he sees a smile on my face and he feels my demeanor change. And I just like felt so bad. So that was my like terrible mom moment for the month or week probably. So yeah, I felt pretty bad about that. Um, and you know what? I feel like everyone has those moments at least once. I am a very impatient person and I have been praying for more patience. So if you do pray, please ask God to give me more patience because I want to show my children patience and love and kindness. And like what I showed them that day is not how I want to act and not what I want to show them. And I did talk to Harlow. I was like, I don't know how much she understood, but I kind of was like, hey, like, I was really, really frustrated. And that is not how you should act when you're frustrated. And I'm really sorry for like yelling. I'm sorry for talking to you that way. I was very frustrated and I should not have handled it that way. I should have taken a deep breath, like blah, 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 yada, yada. So anyways, 
just wanted to share that because if you have been in that same position, like you're not a bad person, you're not a bad mom, it happens to the best of us. And when you situations like that do happen, you've had to learn, use it as a learning experience and remember how bad you felt after and don't do it again. It is so hard, like, Motherhood has like tested almost like every like threshold of patience that I have ever had. It is difficult. Um, and on that note, I'm gonna eat some dinner. I made some crock pot chicken thighs the other day. I steamed up some broccoli and it's like 8.30 and I'm finally gonna eat. So yeah, I'm gonna sign off for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. And in YouTube world, it'll be like two seconds. So that's cool. The next day just dropped Harlow off. I'm in this like predicament right now because Wyatt has been waking up at 6.30 in the morning. He normally wakes up at seven. And I don't know if it's like the Nashville time thing, but he takes a nap precisely at one hour past when he wakes up in the morning. He takes about a one to two hour nap. And I um, have a doctor's appointment um, that I need to be at at 9.50 and it's about a half an hour away. I'm having this like, I don't know if you can see it in this camera, I have this like mole right here that has grown in size since after I had um, Wyatt. And I don't know if it's like a pregnancy thing or what because pregnancy changes a lot of your moles and freckles. So it's kind of like, okay, is it just that or do I need to have this checked out? Shockingly enough, the doctor had an appointment like yesterday. I was like, dude, I expected you to be like, I'm booked out for two months. So that's amazing. Um, I know people have been experiencing like the longest waits. Like my dad has Parkinson's and he's getting told for like brain scans and shit like that. Like, oh, um, sometime in August. I'm like, are you kidding me? Anyways, so, and I need to go to Walmart. I have to go get baby food and cash for my neighbor who watches Wyatt. And I'm like, do I just hope that he sleeps in the car on the way over to Walmart right now and knock that out before my doctor's appointment and then hope he's good through my doctor's appointment because Nick was supposed to be off today, but he's not. So we're kind of rolling with that. So with the timing and traffic, I think we're just gonna, I'm like talking my way through this. I think we're just gonna go to Walmart, do our shopping. Hopefully he's good if he's not. It's just how it is um, and then we'll head over to my appointment after that and hopefully he'll sleep in the car right now we've got a 30 minute drive over there he doesn't typically sleep in the car neither of my kids do they got that from me Nick can sleep anywhere I'm pretty positive that he could even fall asleep standing up we're doing decent we definitely needed this for Nick's birthday it is a T-Rex pinata. <laughs> I'm trying to find some freaking baby food here. And I was like, oh, these look cute. These look cute for him. These look cute. Every single thing here has added sugar in it. Like my baby is 10 months old. I don't want added sugar. Not only that, but he's been basically eating the grossest tasting milk in the world. He's not gonna know if there's no sugar in it. Like, like why not just do natural sugars? Like why do we need to add more sugar? So Serenity Kids is what we get with the meat in it and they don't have it here either. I have to like buy this online now. Not good. Yeah, I thought you wanted to play with that. No, you're bored. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whew. So we survived Walmart. I got hit on. This guy followed me through the parking lot, I guess, because he had already commented on my tattoos inside. And then he was like, you're not a single mom, are you? And you know what it is? It, you know what it really is? It's this. It's this right here. He saw that and he was like, that mom knows how to party. I need to go talk to her. <laughs> so yeah, that was um, that was cool. And then I just got brought down back to reality because Wyatt was crying back there. I'm like, oh, it smells like a giant turd in here. So I made the mistake of looking through the diaper on the side and then thus getting crap under my nails. So that was fun. Then as I was wiping him, I'm realizing <clears throat> my wipes are totally dried out in here. And so it's just pilling up the poop and it's like dropping onto my floor mat. Cause I was, it was almost a blowout. So I was trying to get it out from under him. Anyways, yeah. <clears throat> so headed to the doctor now. Um, that Walmart didn't have a produce section. So I still need to go get some watermelon and bananas somewhere for Wyatt's teething. But he's, uh, <clears throat> he's expiring real quick. So <clears throat> we're gonna do our best here.
past one, I'm gonna go into my extremely messy office. And when I say messy, I mean really glitter. Cause it's so like creative to sit in this pigsty and work. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just very, it really gets the creative juices flowing. Cleaning session, got YouTube going. Got a bin for things that don't fit Wyatt anymore because his stuff is in here. Well, let's get to it. These are really awesome for organizing and keeping sets together. They look like this. You just put it on like that. You can keep your sets together. Just finished filming that video. It gave me a really good reason to clean this room out, make it look actually really cute. I think this little poof in the middle looks good. What do you guys think? I definitely still need a rug, but look how much cuter this looks. Like I have never put a picture frame in here. I've never put plants in here and I just literally <laughs> cut these out of my garden in the front. So there's still like water on them. I purged a bit of stuff. Um, so I, I need to put all this up. A lot of you keep asking me if I have like a Depop or a Mercari account. I'm actually going to go ahead and get one and start selling some of this stuff. <laughs> Are you scaring him? We're doing pretty basic dinner, which I always do for Harlow. Wyatt is spitting out everything that I have given him so far, which has been annoying because he's made a giant mess that I really don't feel like cleaning up. So that'll be fun. I'm running our quiet, cool, like attic fan right now because it was very hot today. So I'm trying to cool down his room specifically right now because he's going to bed. And if he's actually, it's like half hour past his bedtime. It's a little past seven. So I'm giving Carlo some food. I don't know what I'm gonna give him. Maybe just a bottle. He's not really taking anything. So we've got a very simple meal. Ritz with peanut butter, edamame, cashews, and dried blueberries, and some cottage cheese. She said she wanted most of these things, so let's see how it goes. What is that? That is cashews and blueberries. The next day. Figure out how to get over to the cars. I am an absolute vision this morning. Don't mind this boy over here just smashing everything in front of him. Having a boy is so much different than a girl in so many ways. Like, can't put anything in front of him. He just smashes it, pushes it. Smash, push, smash, push, smash, push, smash, push. Is that what you do? Is that what you do? Look at that big smile. <laughs> it's like 7.30 and Harlow's just now starting to wake up, so I gotta go grab her, but happy 4th of July. I hope you guys had a good one. By the time you see this, it will not be 4th of July. We don't climb on tables, sweetheart, but I can get you this other one. Um, uh, <coughs> um, today's plan. The first part of the day, I'm treating it like there is no holiday going on because I have to get that closet tour completely finished and I need to go to the gym. So our friends up the street, the kids call them Nana and Papa. Um, they're gonna go to Nana and Papa's um, till about one and then we're gonna come back, we'll do nap time. And then um, by that time, I'll probably have finished my stuff. And then grandma and grandpa are gonna come over and we're gonna do dinner tonight. It is not even eight o'clock in the morning yet, and it is gloomy, like, like uh, cloud cover or like foggy, I guess. And it is already like 
pretty, pretty <laughs> warm. Come here. Chugga, 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 You want to walk over here? Can we do that? So we're going to, oh, you're doing it. Good job. This one just started crawling yesterday. He just did like two steps. This one started crawling yesterday with his knees. He has only army crawled with his legs dragging behind him. And now he just crawled on his knees yesterday. So wow, we're gonna have to shut up the whole house pretty soon. I'm gonna turn the AC on today because it is going to be a warm one. There is a heat warning for tomorrow too. So I'm really gonna have to deep water like all the plants today. I love it. Should we go get Sissy? Is it go get Sissy? I got all ready for the gym. I just dropped the kids off. I got my pre-workout. I got my protein shake. I got it all ready. And then it hit me that I only have two hours until I'm picking up the kiddos. So why is my front door open? <laughs> front door is just wide open. I just got back, walked in the garage door and my front door is wide open. Okay. Um, I'm prepping some bags of water to put in the kiddie pool in the chicken coop and then I'm gonna put a little paver in there so they can stand on it and it will cool them down. I'm trying a few different little remedies because we're supposed to have a heat wave tomorrow and it's supposed to be in the hundred, hundreds. Um, so I'm just kind of making giant ice cubes to put in there and hopefully they like it and hopefully it helps keep them cool. So I guess I'm just gonna go edit my video in a minute and we have just been like searching Facebook Marketplace, my stepmom and I, for the daycare we're starting. So I'll probably do a little bit of that too. And I've got some dishes to do. We'll see what I can do in two hours here. It's really gonna test my time management skills. I also need to deep water some plants. So we'll see, wish me luck. But most of all, hopefully the chickens enjoy what I'm gonna create for them. I got distracted. <laughs> I saw some Amazon packages here that I hadn't opened yet. So I just opened this. This is for the chickens. So I think I'm gonna go and put this down there for them right now. There's one other thing that I got. I kind of want your guys' opinion on. <sighs> is it too early for this? I don't know. This is a chore. Not that I'm gonna have my two-year-old doing like chores. And, but it's a chore and behavior chart. Let me show it to you and I will explain myself. Lately, it has been very challenging, especially when I'm solo parent for days on end, challenging to get Harlow to, um, to get dressed, to allow me to do her hair, to allow me to shampoo her hair, to allow me to change her diaper. These things it has been challenging to do and I thought, okay, Anytime I offer a reward, um, I give her a vitamin. She loves her vitamins. She calls them Spider-Mans. Um, anytime I give her her Spider-Man, she, I'm like, hey, we can have a Spider-Man if you, if we can get dressed. And um, it seems to work better. So I thought, okay, if there's more incentives for doing the right thing, then maybe it will be easier for her to make that choice and she'll be rewarded for good behavior. So... I got this guy, I think this was like $40 on Amazon. It's really hard to find a, can someone please make a behavior chart that's like not hideous colors? Because I didn't love that this one has no spot for, um, it has no spot for the reward where some of them do, which is great. I like that, but a lot of them are just really ugly. And then some of them don't have any customization. Like these are the little reward points that you get. Um, and it's hard to, to specify like, okay, how many of these equal reward? Like I just have to figure that out, I guess, but they leave you some blank ones here. So they give you all of these, they leave you some blank ones. So you can kind of fill in your own that's pertinent to you and your household and your children and their ages. So like this one is like, you know, wear pajamas. Like I'll probably make one that says, just get dressed. Like, did you get dressed 
well throughout the day and then you can put one on there and put clothes and wash. She's too young for that. She's two years old. She doesn't do that. Um, put toys away. That's one that she can definitely do. So like put clothes away. That is one she can do because lately she's been leaving her shoes all over the house. I'm like, hey, can we please pick up our shoes that are over here and over here and put them in our bedroom? I'll help you. And so she does really well with that. Um, so I am interested to see what you guys think. Have you tried this for a two-year-old? Have you... Which ones do you like? What are your recommendations? I need all of them, and I'm sure there are some other moms who do as well. So let me know what you guys think about that. I'll have to let you guys know how, it, how it's going and how it works. I feel like I'm also gonna have to put this somewhere where she can't just go mess with them throughout the day because she's definitely at an age where she'll think it's a game, which I totally understand, to like move them around. It's July 5th, it's supposed to be a heat wave today and I wasn't gonna vlog today, but I forgot to close off yesterday's vlog. So I'm about to hop in the car, take um, Harlow to daycare. I just finished up her lunch. It's like, I need some lunch ideas, guys. What do we have here? We have peanut butter and jelly, dried blueberries, Ritz, cashews, and some cottage cheese. All of the blueberries that I, or the grapes that I just bought from Costco are like moldy already. And then the raspberries were too. So I'm a little annoyed. What do you guys like to do for your um, kids lunch? I also need some lunch boxes that have like lots of spaces like this. I need some more of these, but I was looking to find one that had some sort of like cold feature, like you can put it in the freezer. Um, Nick's home today too, exciting. So exciting. She does have daycare today, yeah. You sure? No, I thought you said, yeah, I checked with them uh, the other day and they're like, yeah, we're open on Friday. Um, I thought you had said she has daycare today, right? She's not gonna be here. And I said, yeah, that's right. Anyways, this is where I'm gonna sign off. Wow, it's very dark. I'm um, go gonna sign off here. I okay. will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.